This is Elizabeth Nishkati. I'm in College Park, Maryland at a meeting of the FDA's Cardiovascular and Renal Drugs Advisory Committee. The FDA convened the meeting to ask the panel's advice on the benefit-risk profile of darbopoietin alpha in the treatment of anemia associated with chronic renal failure in patients who are not on dialysis. The focus of the meeting was the outcome of the trial to reduce cardiovascular event study, known as the TREAT study. Published last year, this was a large randomized study of over 4,000 patients with type 2 diabetes with anemia due to chronic renal failure who were not yet on dialysis. The objective was to determine if the adverse cardiovascular and renal events could be altered. Patients were randomized to receive darbopoietin to use an algorithm to attempt to achieve a target of 13. We had what was called rescue. Anytime a patient drifted below nine, they received one quarter of the starting dose of uh, Aranest that was used in the active therapy group. There was no difference in death, myocardial infarction, or heart failure between the two groups. That's the reason we did the trial. Could we reduce the cardiovascular burden that these patients had? And at the end of the day, the results were neutral. However, the risk of stroke was higher in the treatment group particularly among those with a previous history of stroke. One of the main questions the FDA asked the panel to consider was whether the regimen used in the controlled group should be adopted as the recommended dosing strategy in patients who are not yet on dialysis. In treat, efficacy, and safety findings favor the control arm regimen as the preferred management strategy for this population for treatment of the anemia associated with chronic kidney disease. One of the nephrologists who spoke during the open public hearing was Dr. Ajay Singh, one of the TREAT investigators. He advocated the use of the rescue treatment used in the control arm of the study as the recommended treatment for the population. And if they respond, uh, then continue treatment and uh, treat them to, uh, for their symptoms. If they don't respond, either stop therapy or look for why they're not responding. But another view was expressed by Dr. Wolfgang Winkelmeyer, who spoke on behalf of the American Society of Nephrology at the meeting. TREAT would not support or provide um, material to lower the current target uh, to below 10 grams per deciliter. At the end of the day, the majority of the panel voted against adopting the dosing regimen used in the TREAT control group. They said that there was not enough evidence to support making this change. In another vote, most of the panel said they would not recommend that airness be avoided in patients who have a history of stroke, but they strongly recommended that patients be adequately informed about the increased risk of stroke in the TREAT trial before receiving treatment. The clinician knows best together with the patient who needs treatment, mm -hmm. and I think the most important lesson is uh, use it sparingly. Uh, if a patient doesn't respond to even one or two dose increases, then the benefits might actually not arise, and that specific patient might actually be at the greatest risk. This is Elizabeth Mishkati for Global Medical News Network.